I noticed a problem, and you're sending me 3,000 emails with complete junk, scaring the living daylights out of, a, uh, out of an end user of my network, a customer of mine. I'm trying to help you guys, but now I have to pay you to help solve a problem within your network? Doesn't that sound a bit silly? If it is a problem within our network, and if it's an end user who's getting the information, the carrier who they pay their money to each month for their bill has a division set apart for BlackBerry technical support, and they what? contact them, and there's no additional fee to do so. When you right. contact us directly, awesome. technical support is at a fee. Whether it's an end user or anyone else, mm -hmm. you have to pay a fee to contact us directly to get the technical support. I, I I have to pay you directly to get technical support. If you're capable of resolving the issue, then you would not need to contact us to provide us with any support because we have technicians that provide the customers with support if there's an additional issue. So okay, let's even let if you feel like it's something where you're helping us and you're providing BlackBerry expert technicians with technical support, you still have to pay to get to that level and to that department. Right. From no, this I'm, area, I'm, I'm we not, don't have for, a way to contact them. Okay, well, first first of all, I'm not claiming that I am an expert on anything. Um, I do know something about hosting and, and, and hosting mail servers. And I am receiving amazing amounts of, um, well, goo, garbage, yuck from you. Amazing amounts. Just for one, one single user with that message that I just, that just told you. And you are telling me that the only way to uh, get in touch with somebody is to pay up front to resolve the fact that you are sending me lots of go junk, garbage. No, the only way to not to speak to anyone but to get the technical support is to pay. I, if the I, customer is receiving this message, the customer needs to either contact their carrier or would need to contact us and pay for the support. If their carrier cannot assist them in resolving the issue, then they have a way to get them transferred directly up to technical support. That either you need to resolve that issue or provide me with a carrier code to get you to technical support so they can resolve the issue. Um, do you understand that I don't really understand what is going on here? I am an ISP. I am a hosting provider. I am an access provider. That's who I am. Yeah, let's pretend that I that I am a router, that I route traffic from left to right. Basically, what I've been receiving is directly from you guys an amazing amount of data. And that content that the end user, my end user, received uh, scared him and he called me because I am hosting and I'm receiving that garbage from, from you guys. I'm receiving all those emails. I'm not talking about two or three. I'm talking about 3,000. So I am contacting you because you are basically spamming the hell out of him. Does that make any sense to you? Yes, sir. I understand what you're saying. The customer <laughs> is receiving what you are considering to be spam. We have informed you that that is a legit message from us to let you know that something has happened somewhere and his email needs to be validated. He needs to validate his email address and no, get no, it no, validated. No, 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 that's not what it says. Ma'am, ma'am, excuse me, excuse me, but that's not what it says. It says this message is used to carry data between the BlackBerry handheld and the associated server. One, this is not an associated server. This is just a mail server. This has nothing to do with anything within BlackBerry. This is just an email account. This is your average email account, it, whether it be uh, uh, Verizon, AOL, Hotmail, Gmail, well, in this case, <laughs> mail, and a, a, a BlackBerry handheld. But that BlackBerry handheld is not touching anything regarding my mail server. It's only you guys. And you were pushing this data towards me. Does he have me. an email address that's being hosted by you integrated on his BlackBerry? Could be. I don't know. But that data, which is on my mail server, is not going to be touched by you guys. You can only send me an email. You're not able to log in on my, uh, on my mail server. And the message, well, it suggests that you are trying to do so. Uh, 
Okay, so as I mentioned, technical support is where you're going to need to be to resolve this issue. And you're either going to have to pay for the support or you're going to have to go through a different route to get the support to resolve the issue. If, they, if you're hosting this and the customer that is, has an email that's hosted by your is being hosted by you, integrated on his BlackBerry, the messages are coming through you. They're probably getting the same message on their BlackBerry, and that is why they're getting the message because it's a BlackBerry, and they have an email address that's integrated well, by most, who, wherever, whatever address you're hosting. Most likely, yeah. But I mean, so that's why they're getting the, you're you're getting the message as well. Yeah, but because they're using a, a address that's being hosted times? by you. Excuse me, ma'am. Three thousand times. Three thousand times suggests to me that something is broke. Three thousand, three thousand messages to suggest that some email is being, or data is being handled, or something is being done suggests that somebody needs to fix something because it's broke. And technical support can take care of that. Right. I do not have a way to get you there without you paying for it. You do have to fix right. the support. Right, and I have to pay to fix your problem. Right. <laughs> right. Okay. Um, if so, you're if, sir, if you're capable of fixing the issue, then you no, can fix I am it. not because I have. I'm not allowed to touch your mail servers. I'm not allowed to touch your hardware. It will be illegal for me to hack in and and say, okay, you know what? I'm going to fix a problem for a customer of mine. That's the same way as it's just as 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 is illegal to ask you guys to hack into my mail server and try and set up a enterprise BlackBerry mail server. It's just ridiculous. That's the reason why I'm calling you guys with, hey, I mean, I've noticed here a problem. I want to give you all the information that there is possible, and please pick it up and do something with it. Now, you either can say to me that I have to pay for technical support, support which basically I'm giving to you guys. I'm giving you the information. Well, it's not really support, but you have to do it, figure out you know, figure out yourself. But still, I have to pay for that. I have to pay to give you that information to help solve a problem that apparently exists within your network. I'm sorry, man. I'm, it's just just really difficult for me to grasp. So, sir, I'm not sure what else you would like for me to do for you. I have provided you with your options and what you're going to be able to do to be able to resolve this issue. I was actually hoping uh, for, like, uh, a contact, um, like somebody from uh, network operations or something, or uh, somewhere I can put down some sort of an abuse report or something, some way of contacting somebody <laughs> without paying... You Just can send that to at you can send that at help at blackberry dot com. Help at blackberry dot com. Right. Okay. Help at blackberry dot com. Right. Any any other email address that might be helpful? No, that's the only one that we have that we can provide to customers. I'm not a customer, ma'am. That's what I'm trying to tell you. I'm not a customer. That's the only one we can provide to people who call into us. Right. Okay. <laughs> right. I'm sorry. I'm a little bit frustrated, but I really do hope that you have a great and a fantastic start to 2011, ma'am. I really do. You as well, and thank you so much for contacting Blackberry. You have a good day. Okay. Take care now. Bye-bye.